I tell you, it's amazing that these Democrats keep calling for unity after four years of claiming that the president was illegitimate and his supporters basically Russian assets. But before we get into that, give me just 30 seconds for this quick capitalism break to tell you about this episode's sponsor, Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. Collagen is an essential building block in the youthfulness and glow of your appearance. Up to 90% of your skin is made of collagen. After 20 years, this essential ingredient decreases its natural production in your body 10% every decade. Folks, I decided to take Ageless Multicollagen and the results have been astounding. Get yourself a bag of Ageless Multicollagen today while it's still 51% off. As an added bonus, if you order today, they'll give you free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin. And a 60 day money back guarantee. Go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today. Or click the link in the description or pin comment. Thank you, Mr. Which, by the way, is precisely why I brought that up in my opening statement. That should provide comfort that we have that paper backup. But I just have to talk about Russian disinformation because the people peddling it are not on my side of the aisle. Senior Democrat leaders, including ranking member Peters, you know, were involved in a process of creating a false intelligence product that was supposedly classified, they leaked to the media, that accused Senator Grassley, the President Pro Tem of the Senate, and myself of accepting and disseminating Russian disinformation from Andrei Durkash. I'd never heard of the person until they brought it up. Senator Peters introduced that, direct, that false information, Russian disinformation, into our investigation record. 50 people associated with the intelligence community during the, our, after our Hunter Biden investigation and the revelations of the Hunter Biden computer said, oh, this is, you know, this is Russian disinformation. Now we find out, no, it's a real investigation by the Justice Department. So it's, it's just galling, and I just have to point out that the purveyors of Russian disinformation, Hillary Clinton's campaign, the DNC, the Steele dossier, the ranking member Peters accusing Senator Grassley and I of disseminating uh, Russian disinformation, that's where the disinformation is coming. That's where the false information, the, the lies, the false allegations. I can't sit by here and listen to this and say that this is, this is not disinformation, this hearing today. This is getting information we have to take a look at to restore confidence in our election integrity. We, we're not going to be able to just move on without bringing up these irregularities, examining them, and providing an explanation and see where there really are problems so we can correct it moving forward. Senator Paul. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I got to respond to that. I mean, you're saying I'm putting out Try. information. Well, one, I did had nothing to do with this report. You, you lied repeatedly. I did not you lied this. repeatedly in the press that I was spreading Russian, dis, Russian disinformation, and that was an outright lie, and I told you to stop lying, and you continue to do it. Mr. Chairman, this is not about airing your grievances. I, know what, I don't know what rabbit hole you're running down. You right talked now. about you Russian disinformation. Down rabbit holes. Senator Paul. This is simply not what we're dealing Senator with. Paul. But, but Mr. Chairman, you can't make these Judge false Starr. allegations and then dropping it there. That is why this Senator Paul. needs to return back Good to it. Senator this Paul. Is partisan things. This, is, this, is, this is terrible what you're doing to this committee and all the great work that you talked about. It is what you have done to this committee. It is not Falsely the accusing the chairman of spreading disinformation. Nothing could have been further from the truth, and you're spouting it again, which is why I had is to respond. This, oh, Senator come on. Paul. Mr. Chairman. Judge Storm. This is outrageous. This Judge, is outrageous. Judge Storm. So conclude, this is my last hearing. It has been an honor and privilege to chair this, this committee. Hearings adjourned. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to just make a couple quick comments on this hearing. I mean, it was pretty worthless. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't, a, you know, anything really um, new or uh, anything like that put out there. But what I will say is that I, I thought er, pretty much everything said by the Democrats uh, uh, was exactly the opposite of what the message that they were saying it was basically gaslighting so they kept talking about unity and uh, we need to move on there's work to do in the government we have all these things we need to address so we need to move on uh, how are we supposed to take that after four years of you know russia and this started before the election they started talking about uh 
impeaching Trump if he was elected before the election. And then literally the day he was inaugurated, there's New York Times stories about, oh, time to impeach the president. There were mass protests from November all the way through the inauguration, violent protests with tens of thousands of people in them. The media applauded it. Uh, and they resisted. And that went on for four years. And yet we're all supposed to just be like, oh, Democrats won. Oh, well, it it was the best election ever, apparently. So when Democrats win, it, it's the best ever. And when Republicans win, uh, you know, they resist for four years. And you can guarantee that if Republicans would have won this election, that it would have just been a continuance. They would have had uh, mass demonstrations, mass violence, like uh, Johnson pointed out there at the end. Uh, the businesses weren't boarding up their business. They weren't boarding up their windows and doors because they were worried about a Biden victory. They were worried about Trump winning and then Democrat voters going out and causing mass violence. OK, so and, and that's what's gone on for the last few months. All the while, the media downplays it, calls it mostly peaceful, acts like it doesn't exist. When it starts to hurt Democrats, you know, you got guys like Chris Cuomo coming out and saying, oh, well, didn't you know that protests aren't supposed to be peaceful? Oh, you know, and so that's what we've dealt with for the last four years. It's just intense gaslighting. But now we're all supposed to just fall in the line. And, and I, you guys have heard me say this a million times. I keep saying it. But there's a reason I'm saying it. I have been saying the last few, year, uh, few years now that if the Democrats won the election, and I was proved right during the 28 midterms because they did well in that. And if you look, there's all these stories. Oh, I didn't, there was no interference. It was good. And so I was kind of proved right during that. But I knew that, like, if they won the election, that this is that they would say it's all clear. That that's always been my language about it, that they would give the all clear. That is exactly what's happening. I'm not psychic. It's just it's so obvious what they're doing, you know. And it's obvious how it's going to go. The whole Russian disinformation, misinformation thing, all of that is just so they can take any scandal involving a Democrat and simply dismiss it, or you know, any criticism of policy or anything at this point. They can just say, oh, that's Russian disinformation. While they can say and do or whatever towards their political opposition, anything goes, uh, everything is true, you know. So that's what we're facing, guys, in the next four years. It's going to be, the media is going to be more corrupt than I think they've ever been before. They're going to secure their power for the foreseeable future. They're going to make sure that nobody else can win because they're just... They're not going to allow us a voice on the internet. You know, the algorithms are going to veer people away from folks like us while it will... You know, it'll funnel them into information uh, gatekeepers that are, you know, aligned with the Democrats on the left. And so that's what's going to happen. They're going to demonize and, and uh, you know, treat us like terrorists. They're going to just pick people away from us. They're going to demonize us so much and so often. And, and it's going to happen because there's going to be criticism against things Biden does. And the media will just claim, oh, no, no, he's a moderate. So these people are extremists. So that's what we have to look forward to, guys. It's, it's going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be, it's going to give me lots of material, but it's like, will I survive? Uh, there's going to be so much material. I'm going to be out there constantly. You know what they're going to say? They're going to say, oh, that's just misinformation. Uh, he's clickbait. Oh no. Uh, you know, they'll find some sort of rationalization to shut down channels like mine or just, you know, strangle it to death with the algorithms. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe if you want to support this channel. Well, there's a Patreon link right there, but you can also find links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.